Hello traders. This is a topic I think most of you will not want to stay for, but I think for those of you that are really struggling and you just want to figure out how can I get through these prop firms, um, you know, what are some, a methodical mathematical way of doing it to try to give myself an edge. Now, first of all, you got to have a trading strategy that works. So if you have a trading strategy that is at least 60% win rate, and even a little higher, of course, could be very helpful. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate going through these four different tabs of this spreadsheet is a very conservative to a super aggressive approach on how you can manage your trades. And a lot of this is, um, if not all of it, is inspired by two people, Michael Huddleston, the inner circle trader, and Ryan Jones, the one that ICT referenced in regards to money management. Ryan Jones has a system called fixed ratio money management. And so specifically tailored to an Apex 50K account, that is what I'm using for these numbers, just to give you an idea of if you had a brand new account, so maybe maybe you've blown one up and it's resetting soon, or maybe you're gonna pay to reset it. Uh, by the way, I would encourage you to not pay to reset it because every month it rebuilds it resets automatically so if you've blown up an account because you've done something foolish just get your head straight and wait for it to reset during the next billing cycle same thing with top step by the way only difference is top step uh, their drawdown is two thousand dollars whereas apex is twenty five hundred dollars on the 50k account the other difference is top step is a end of day drawdown whereas apex is a trailing threshold so as you are making money if um, that is moving your trailing drawdown up, whether you take the profits or not. So that's something that you have to understand as well. So now that we got that out of the way, if you were to start a brand new account with 50K, now ICT recommends that we start out trading the smallest contract and for really good reasons. He says, you're not going to care. It's not going to hurt you as much if you take a loss. So in this example, I like to trade oil and generally I'm using a 20 tick stop loss. So one contract here means I'm going to only risk $20. Now I'm also only going for one to one, which by the way, I also recommend that you do. Now you might be feeling like no way I don't have a high enough win rate. There's no way I'm going for one to one. Well, first of all, do you actually know that to be true? Second of all, why don't you just try it? Why don't you fine tune your system a little bit to figure out what it generally gives you, whether you take the profits or not, if it gives you 10 ticks, what if you just started using numbers like that and start taking the low hanging fruit? So anyway, I digress. Let's go over the spreadsheet to give you some ideas on how you could structure a brand new eval with one of these prop firms, like a 50 K account and what it might look like. So I'm going to, I, I know this is just a spreadsheet. This isn't real life. And so the numbers are going to look different uh, when it comes down to real life scenario, but assuming, you have a 70% win rate. I had to go with something that would just make it easy to do the math. Out of 20 trades, let's say right out of the gate, you come out with six losers in a row. Well, you're down $120. Well, $120 of $2,500 drawdown is no big deal. You're not going to, it's not going to hurt you. You're not going to care. However, once you start to get on the side of the win streak and you start winning, well, using the money management tool here, where once you make $40, you can step up to two contracts. And then once you make $80, you can step up to three contracts. And there's a, you know, th there's a value that, that each win is going to be associated with. So it's very, it, while I'm saying it's conservative, it's aggressive in its approach on how quickly it'll allow you to jump up to another contract, but it's starting out with very low contracts so that when you start to encounter losses, it's not also going to kill you. But then if you start to get a really good run, uh, you can really benefit from compounding and utilizing those profits that you've made. And then with it being a tight Delta, which the Delta is the number that tells you when you need to step up or step back down. So if you start to go from, let's say you go straight from six losses in a row, a few wins and then three or four more losses in a row. Well, 
you're going to start stepping back down very quickly. So it's going to help control the bleeding and it's going to smooth out the equity curve so it's not crazy and out of control. So let's just try to go through this and pretend that everything is just perfect based on the spreadsheet. So let's say you encountered six losses in a row. You'd be down $120. But out of 20 trades, all of a sudden you start hitting because your win rate's around 70% percent plus or minus and all of a sudden you just start hitting so every two trades the way this is set up you basically get to start increasing your profits and so as you do and you're adding contracts the next 14 trades will net you plus 1360 dollars well that subtracting the loss that you started out with the six losing trades is at the end of 20 trades you'd still be up twelve hundred dollars not too bad. Now, if you didn't do any money management, let's just say you said, I'm going to just trade one contract. I'm going to trade the micro. And, you know, that's I'm just sticking to it for the full 20. Well, guess what? Um, you would not have very much money because if you only just trade one little micro trying to get through this thing, which I get it, many of you would never do. I would never do it because you know what? My time is worth something. And while you have access to um, a lot of leverage for very little money using prop firms, you, you want to find that balance so that it's worth your time. And if you're just going to stay with one micro, you're going to, at the end of 20 trades, you're going to be up $280 from your wins, still down the 120 from your losses, so only a net of 160 Huge difference, right? Just by money management. Again, I get it. It's a spreadsheet. It's perfect world. It wouldn't actually look exactly like this, but it actually could look a lot like this if you actually had a win streak like this. And ironically enough, um, I went on a serious win streak um, over the last pre previous three weeks, but I had not been using money management like this. And had I been, things would look, I think, different. So that is why I'm taking the time to go over this. So this is just the conservative. And by the way, I'm going to leave a... A, I'm going to make this a public um, spreadsheet and I'll have a link in the video description. So if you want to down, make your own copy and mess around with some of the numbers, you feel free. So you'll, you'll be able to do that. But so this is just the conservative approach. But now a, an aggressive approach would be upping your risk. So again, we have $2,500 of working drawdown. So to only risk $20 a trade, when you have, if you have a pretty high win rate system, it might not make sense to do that. So in this example, we're going to risk $100 um, a trade. So you can see everything's been updated. So now we're trading five contracts. And uh, by the way, I just want to put this out. So like with Top Step, when you first pass and get a funded account with them, um, if your account is under uh, $1,500 of profit, the most you can trade is two minis or 20 micros with their Top Step X account. Now, there are other Top Step accounts that aren't the X platform. I think they have different parameters, so you have to check with them on that. Um, but with Apex, also, it's straight up. You can do the same micro to mini um, calculation. They don't have any stipulation like that. So, But the thing to be aware of is until you get over $1,500 in profit, you can't trade more than 20 micros. But you can see over here, we never get to that. So in this example, we're gonna start out with five and same scenario. Let's say the first six trades right out of the gate are all losses, we're in $600 a drawdown. But then we start winning. So our first two wins get us $200. You can see at 200, we get to step up to six and then at 240, we get to step up again. So the next two trades, 120, 120, that gets us 240. That's the step up, we get to step up again. And before you know it, at the end of the 20 trades, we are now up $1,680 on the account um, after subtracting the $600 in losses. Whereas if we just did 100 bucks straight across, once we hit the winning streak, we're only gonna be up $800. So you can see by doing this, we're making twice as much money, but it's through methodical process of when to increase your risk because you're winning and then if you start losing, you have to step down. 
the more aggressive approach, even more so, is really pushing it. Because again, if you got $2,500 with Apex, if we have six losses in a row, risking $140, we're at minus $840. Now, what are the chances of that? Some of you might be like really high. Well, that's probably because you're not disciplined, you're over trading, and you don't have a money management system that you have really focused on to help you with your trading. You're so focused on your trading system that you're neglecting the money management. And if you start to focus more on the money management, you might find it easier to discipline yourself to trade less, to only take the good trades, and to just, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Just stop trading. Uh, this, this exercise, and I know I have to prove it to you guys, but this, by me taking the time to go back through this knowledge that I gained over a year ago, but hadn't yet implemented as far as this fixed ratio money, money management, it really has hit home to me. And it's, it's made me feel very comfortable with the idea of taking one loss and stopping because I now have a plan. I have a full plan, not a partial plan. I have an entire plan. So that's why this money management, I think, is so incredibly important and completely overlooked by most traders. So, you know, again, same scenario. Now that we're risking the more, the, the more of $140, all losses in a row, we're down $840. But again, out of a $2,500 drawdown, we still have a pretty comfortable drawdown left. Um, and then once you start hitting those wins, after the losses at the end of 20 trades, we're up $2,200 and you need 3000 to pass, right? So we're getting really close to that. If we did nothing and we just stayed with the same risk, it's the same thing. I mean, it's not going to change guys. It's going to be, it's going to be basically, you're going to be lagging by about 50% of, of where it would have been. So, you know, this is, this is still not bad. You're making money, um, but you are making less and so your time you're extending the time that it takes to pass these these evals and then not to mention then you're going to extend the time it takes you to get a payout which by the way i have not done but that is why i'm having this conversation with you now that's why i'm making this video now because i want to have a game plan i have a funded account with top step i'm trying to get my apex accounts uh, that are in drawdown back to where they were before i uh, had a detour in my trading and implement these things because it's I feel like I have a complete plan to get myself back on track now. Last, let's look at the super aggressive. With the super aggressive, we're risking $200 a trade, one trade a day. I mean, if something, well, you, you have to decide. Maybe your trading system is such that you can take more than one trade. That's that's up to you. That, that part is actually less relevant. If you If you want to take six trades a day, but you are never a person that goes on tilt and you're only taking your trade setups and your trade setup delivers well enough, but you're using low time frame. That's why you take so many trades and you're still at a 70% win rate, then by all means, do it all in one day. Um, but this is a roadmap on how you could structure your money management. So in this example, we'd start out with 10 micros. Again, I'm using this all on oil. And I'm still doing, for me, I use a static stop loss of 20 ticks. And so at this point, I'm risking $200. If I do six losses in a row, right out of the gate, I'm now down $1,200. And I have 2,500 total. So I have, I have 1,300 left before I blow the account. But then I start to get on a winning streak and I pull myself out of it. And in just 20 trades, not only do I pull myself out of the drawdown, but... I end up passing because with the 4480 in profits minus the 1200, I'm at 3280. That now passes the $3,000 profit threshold and the rest is history. Um, if I do nothing except the $200 risk, still not bad. By no means is it bad. Something's not right. I got to change this formula. Maybe it was right. Anyway, if you do nothing except be consistent in your risk. You do this six losses in a row and then you win. Great. You're pull, you're digging yourself out. That's fantastic. But you're still at $1600. Whereas by leveraging your wins, your wins, your win streak and having a plan, you I mean, you passed. Whereas this one, you still got you still got 50 you're only 50 a little more than 50% of the way there. 
And that is why this is so important. If this interests you and you want more information, comment on this, let me know. I'd be happy to, uh, uh, first of all, I will provide you links to Ryan Jones. He is the one that actually has developed the system. While these are not his exact formulas, it is what he taught with my understanding and how I want to apply it to futures. Um, he does a lot of it. I think he uses options and contracts, but it's all interchangeable. Um, but I'll leave links to his videos in this video description, along with the link to this uh, spreadsheet so you can download it, mess with it yourself, um, and uh, you, you know, customize it. If you got $2,000 drawdown instead of 2,500, because maybe instead of Apex, you're trading with Top Step, maybe you want to you know, adjust these accordingly, because maybe you don't want to get into you know more than 50 percent of drawdown at you know negative twelve hundred dollars if you're only allotted two thousand you're get, you might be getting closer than what you're comfortable with so you might want to adjust your your trade size based on that but guys i think that the i think this is really important As a matter of fact i would issue a challenge to you if you have been struggling with trading i'm going to suggest that you only take one trade a day find a system or make, let me rephrase that. I'm sure whatever system you're trading, it can be refined using just lower time frames. So it's not like you have to learn a completely different system. Whatever your system is, you could start dropping down to lower time frames so that you still can focus on the market the way, the way that your model presents. But the one thing I'm gonna challenge you on is start to look for the low hanging fruit. Go for the easy one-to-one -one and then try something like this and see. If you wanna be aggressive, just do it for the sake of your own experiment. I mean, what do you really have to lose except for one month of your time? What, what if, um, you know, Apex and Top Step, all these people, I'm sure, I am sure they're gonna have some kind of a sale for Thanksgiving. Um, shameless plug i am an apex affiliate um, i would love for you guys to use my link it's in the description if and when they have a sell i would not buy one of their accounts at full price uh, i don't think anyone would um, i wouldn't do that for any prop firm i don't think um, i think they frequently have sales and it's just best to wait for them and so if you can get 80 percent off on an account with apex or top step here coming up near uh, in thanksgiving i'm going to challenge you to get one and if you if you don't want Apex because you feel like I'm you know trying to scratch my own back since I'm an affiliate, fine. Go to Top Step. I don't care. I trade with them as well. But get an account. Focus on one trade a day. One trade a day. Go for the low hanging fruit, whatever system you want, and you figure out you figure out a money management system similar to what I've demonstrated here so that you can get it passed within 20 trades. Now you might blow it up, but I think it would be hard unless you completely start breaking all your rules. So that's my challenge to you. Everyone's so focused on strategy, 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 how to get in, the right setup. No one's really talking about money management and I think it is short-sighted. So anyway, that's my opinion. We're gonna see. The proof's gonna be in the pudding because I am implementing this in my current accounts that I have, um, the, the account I have with my top step right now. But I will tell you, I am using the conservative approach. Um, actually, mine's, mine's a slight hybrid. Um, I'm doing $40 risk. So mine's just one, one a hair more aggressive than the conservative. It's like a conservative um, 1.0 or something, or 2.0. Um, just because I have I have a lot of scar tissue from damage that I've done. And so I, I still just want to prove to myself. And if it takes me, if, if this, if going the conservative route, if I can end up with numbers, like I'm seeing, I'm showing you right here on this screen, then I will have more confidence for the next 20 trades to go to something that's more in the more aggressive category. Cause I will have proven myself in the conservative uh, category. So traders, I hope this is helpful. I'm sure I lost a lot of you, but for you that stayed, I hope you got something out of this. And again, leave me a comment if you think that this is going to help. More importantly, if you if you click on the links and you download the uh, spreadsheet and format it for your, 
you know, to customize it to what you want, uh, come back and leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing. I'd love to know um, if you're taking me up on the challenge. Maybe you already have an account with one of these um, companies that's in drawdown and you can right now you could start to create a plan on how to dig yourself out but start small because you're already in drawdown especially like if you're in one of these companies well it doesn't matter if you're in uh, top step or apex once you're in drawdown you're in drawdown the, the trailing drawdown you don't have to worry about until you get back above your high water mark so it's not going to affect you once you're in drawdown you're in drawdown so um but i'd love to know um if you're going to implement something like this and if this has intrigued you and or if you think this is helpful and good information. So traders, as always, I hope everything I'm putting out here encourages you. I hope it gets you thinking. I hope it motivates you and I hope it helps you to take more from the markets than it takes from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.